You are acting like we are engaged in some kind of mad science. But we are doing what we have done from the beginning. Nothing in Jurassic World is natural. We have always filled gaps in the genome with the DNA of other animals. And if their genetic code was pure, many of them would look quite different. But you didn't ask for reality. You asked for more teeth. I never asked for a monster. Monster is a relative term. To a canary, a cat is a monster. We're just used to being a cat. Hey, Amber Miners, welcome back to the channel. It's Logan here today, and we're going to be talking about what went into the Indominus Rex. The Indominus Rex is perhaps the world's top apex predator. It is a vicious killing machine that can take down sauropods like Patasaurus with ease, square up against a Tyrannosaurus and come out on top. But what exactly is it made out of? The Indominus Rex is a genetic hybrid dinosaur created by scientists at Jurassic World including Dr. Henry Wu with the intent of creating a new, scarier dinosaur attraction. Progress started on hybridization in 2008 when Simon Masrani, CEO of Masrani Global, sent a memo to Wu asking for the creation of a new, scarier dinosaur as an attraction for Jurassic World. Wu designed many prototype herbivorous species, including the Stegoceratops, that were ultimately never cloned. Instead, Wu settled for a carnivorous dinosaur that would have been more appealing to the guests. It included DNA of 11 prehistoric species as well as a handful of modern animals that helped it adapt to the environment on Isla Nublar. And its base genome was that of a Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus, recognised as the apex predator of North America and the most successful terrestrial carnivore in history, commands with awe, with its immense size and power with a length of nearly 40 feet and weighing over 8 tons, it ranks among the largest carnivorous dinosaurs to ever roam the earth. Its reputation is well deserved, boasting one of the strongest jaws recorded in history. Expected to exert a bite force exceeding 60,000 newtons. Deinonychus antropus, counterbalancing terrible claw. Deinonychus, Velociraptor, often hailed as one of the most remarkable and influential dinosaurs, was a dromaeosaurid predator that thrived in North America. Agile and fleet-footed, it was a formidable pack hunter coordinating with its counterparts to bring down prey that exceeded its own size by hundreds of times. While encounters with larger carnivores like Acrocanthosaurus were possible during its existence, Deinonychus displayed cunning intelligence as suggested by its favourable brain to body ratio. This intelligence allowed them to solve problems and complete complex tasks. Its sharp, sickle like claws mounted on its agile forelimbs were its deadliest weapon. These lethal appendages were capable of inflicting deep and precise wounds on its prey. Deinonychus holds an important place in the paleological history, as its discovery contributed significantly to our understanding of the Dromaeosaurid lineage and the intriguing behaviours of predatory dinosaurs. Giganotosaurus carolini, Carolini's giant southern lizard. Giganotosaurus is renowned as one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs, standing as tall as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This mighty predator boasted an estimated length of 50 feet, making it a colossal figure in the dinosaur kingdom. Although its weight was nearly half of that of Tyrannosaurus, 
Giganosaurus compensated with a cooperative hunting strategy, belonging to the Allosauroid superfamily. It likely formed packs to bring down gargantuan prey, while unable to overpower massive sauropods entirely. Giganosaurus employed a unique feeding tactic by tearing off small chunks of flesh, indulging in live prey without inflicting fatal injuries. Its lack of a powerful bite was compensated by its sheer size and collective effort of the pack. The awe-inspiring nature of Giganotosaurus lies not only in the immense stature, but also in its ability to adapt and survive by engaging in cooperative It remains an iconic representation of fierce carnivores that once roamed the ancient landscapes of our planet. Berenithosaurus, Chiloniforms. Turtle shaped reaping scythe lizard. Berenithosaurus, known for its unique appearance and remarkable features, was a herbivorous dinosaur that stood out among the carnivorous counterparts. The most striking aspect of Berenithosaurus was its incredibly long and curved claws, measuring up to three feet in length, which were likely used for various purposes, such as defense, gathering vegetation, or even foraging. Despite its fearsome appearance, Ferrocerosaurus was a peaceful giant lying on its plant-based diet. Carnotaurus Sastri Sastri's meat-eating bull Carnotaurus possesses a distinct and formidable profile among the dinosaurs. Its name, meaning meat-eating bull, accurately reflects its appearance and hunting prowess. While not as large as Tyrannosaurus, it compensated with remarkable speed and agility. Notably, Carnotaurus featured a unique set of horns above its eyes, making it instantly recognisable. These bony structures likely played a role in its species recognition or display rather than combat. Its sleek, streamlined body and strong hind limbs allowed it for rapid pursuits, suggesting it was a swift predator. Majungasaurus Critemus, notched Majanga lizard. Majungasaurus, an apex predator of its ecosystem, represents a fascinating carnivorous dinosaur that once inhabited the earth. With an estimated length of about 25 feet and a weight over a ton, it possessed a compact and muscular frame. Majungasaurus likely relied on its strong jaws equipped with teeth adapted for slicing through flesh to secure its prey. The dinosaur likely engaged in fierce battles for resources and territory. However, it is the unique behaviour of Majungasaurus that truly captivates scientists. Evidence suggests that it engaged in cannibalism, with individuals of the same species serving as both hunter and prey. This behaviour, combined with its ecological role as a predator, offers insights into the complex dynamics of the ancient ecosystems it inhabited. Majungasaurus, with its intriguing features and intriguing hunting habits, adds depth to our understanding of the diverse and fascinating world of dinosaur. Pygmaeosaurus, Nevis, Neve's dense forest lizard. Little is known about the Pygmaeosaurus, only that it was among the largest albosaurs to date. It's been speculated that it could run to incredible speeds for short periods of time, serving as an ambush predator. The most intriguing aspect of this dinosaur was that it was discovered among the bones of Titanosaurids sauropods, and while it was unlikely that Pycnosaurus was capable of taking down prey of that size, it's possible that the animal could have been scavenging the remains of already dead individuals. Quilmosaurus quirii Quirius quilmus lizard Quilmosaurus is known for a single fragmented individual and its overall size and proportions remain uncertain making it challenging to draw precise comparisons with other albosaurids. What we do know however are the animals it coexisted with. The alien formation where Quilmosaurus hails is home to an incredibly diverse population of herbivorous dinosaurs, including hydrosaurs, which Quilmosaurus likely hunted. 
The Allen Formation is also home to another Albertosaurus dinosaur, Nibula. Although it's unlikely that they would have competed together, as they likely filled separate nations. Rogops Primus, first wrinkle first. Rogops is a unique dinosaur, only known from a single partial skull. However, there is enough material to determine the species as an Albertosaurus. This African species is vastly different from other Albertosaurids. We actually have skulls from such Carnotaurus and Majungasaurus. Unlike them, Rogops lacks the horns on top of the head, although it's likely that this was a disadvantage, as horned Albertosaurus didn't use their horns for combat or hunting, but rather as a tool to recognize each other. Via Veneta. Exoni. External? Roadhunter. The event NATO was described in 2016 as its fossils were discovered in 2015. So, how this animal's DNA was used in Indominus Rex? The Indominus Rex was born in 2012, and the result of combining DNA from a dozen species with both modern and prehistoric origin, many fragments of DNA came from fossil extraction, which InGen scientists first started using in 2000 with Mosasaurus homophia. However, many DNA samples were collected from amber samples, which was the traditional DNA extraction method InGen have been using since the 80s. Since the samples came from the digestive system of mosquitoes or other blood sucking insects, it was never clear what species the DNA belonged to until the animal was cloned. This can oftentimes result in the creation of a new species that has not been discovered yet. A similar case happened in the 1980s with the creation of Sukumirus tenrets, which had not yet been described until 1998. In the case of the Veneto, it's likely they believed that the DNA belonged to Abelisaurus, as its DNA is mentioned and the two species hail from the same general location. Dinosuchus Hatchari Hatchet's terrible crocodile. Dinosuchus is believed to be the largest alligator to ever exist. It measured up to be 13 metres in length, while its distant cousins, the crocodile like Sachisuchus and the caiman like Perosaurus, measure up to 9 and 12 metres. It was believed that its bite force exceeded that of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, but modern science believed it could only match up to 18,000 newtons. However, like most modern alligators, it's likely the animal could kill its prey pretty quickly through a death roll. The Indominus Rex is made with the DNA of nearly a dozen prehistoric species, but is also designed with the DNA of modern animals. The common cuttlefish. Superior Ophelinus is a small cephalopod from Europe and was added to the Indominus Rex so it could withstand the accelerated growth rate. However, InGen didn't predict the ability, animal's ability to camouflage. The red eyed tree frog was added so that it could survive the hot tropical conditions of Central America, but it had an unintended effect of giving the Indominus Rex the ability to change its blood temperature, which allowed it to hide from thermal cameras. Finally, Petropis, venomous snakes from South America, which gave the animal the ability to sense thermal radiation, giving them some sort of night vision. Indominus Rex was a biological product of International Genetic Technology Inc, produced on Isla Nublar in 2012. Only one would survive, with the other one being cannibalized by its sibling at some point before November 2014. Details about its life of being the cannibalized sibling are mostly unknown, but the survivor's life history is fairly well documented. Indominus Rex genome was constructed by Dr. Henry Wu, utilizing multiple theropod gene donors as well as genetic traits from several extinct animal species. The exact content of its genome was shrouded in secrecy. Differing personnel were informed about differing aspects of the animal. 
resulting in corporate mismanagement that allowed the hybrid to escape its containment in 2015. Despite its secrecy, the project had 26 million USD invested into it. At an unknown point prior to November 2014, one of the Indominuses cannibalised the other. This information was not relayed to Simon Maserani, who had not yet seen the animals in person. Right, I hope you've all liked this Jurassic Myths today. If you have any other speculations, drop it in the comments and we'll probably make a video of it, alright? Uh, go to the Patreon, have a good day, subscribe. It's been Logan here. Bye bye.